Hello, my lovely Gemini. This is Davida with Medium of the Light to Tarot. I am back with you with your May 2020 love reading. Singles, yours will be at the end, and I will timestamp it for you so you don't have to listen through this to see. All right, Gemini, what's going on in your love? May 2020. King of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Princess of Pentacles, you've got the Nine of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Death card. You've got the Nine of Swords, the Five Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Oops, sorry. These cards are a little slick. So let's see what we got going on here with the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of of pentacles. Interesting. Usually you don't get all the same suit in one row because generally, and flip it as it reads, that this is you, this is them, and this is the storyline trying a new setup and it's not quite working so far but and I'm gonna take this one because it did fall to the ground and it is the two of cups all right Okay, so this person obviously is very much into money and material gain. We've got the king, the seven, and the princess of pentacles. This person, your person is in lo into love. And they don't like the fact that you're so much into money and they're feeling like this could destroy the relationship. And you're feeling, you know, trapped by this, like, but this is just me, this is who I am. <clears throat> and it caused some fights and bickering between the two of you and the 10 of swords, which is an ending card. And they don't quite understand why this is such a thing. But there is love here. Like, this one made a special trip just to get here. Like, I wasn't going to take any more cards. But it flipped out and hit the floor. And you saw the, the cards that were everywhere. So this obviously plays a part. A large part. There's, there's definitely a lot of love here. Maybe you guys are even married. Have a couple of kids. Yeah, and you're like, well, what's wrong with providing? But your person is saying that you're obsessed. That you're obsessed with money. All you think about is money. Almost kind of like what I got in my mind was Ebenezer Scrooge. Someone who was obsessed by keeping and saving money, being consumed by it. And your person is very airy, fairy, um, you know, wish fulfillment, 
you know, love and light and, you know, but of course, who provides them to have this lifestyle? You do. And that's the part where you're like, but because I provide this, these luxuries, you get to enjoy the life that you always wanted. What's the problem? Interesting. <laughs> and with the King of Pentacles comes the Three of Pentacles. You know, so you do lots of collaboration with other people for money. Oh my gosh. And then the Four of Pentacles. So you're trying to keep a hold of what you have, keep a hold of your money, making sure more is coming. You know, with this Princess of Pentacles comes the King of Swords. Like, you're happy on your throne. You're happy being able to provide all these luxuries and these things. But your person's like, but it's consuming you. What about me? What about us? Sorry. And the, the King of Wands came up. This is someone who's fiery and pat, has a lot of passion. So this might also include a possible third party. Is what I got. You know, your person might be looking to, to somewhere else to be fulfilled in the emotional and fiery passion department when you're all busy up in your head making the coin, you know. And with this Four of Swords camp comes <laughs> the um, Ace of Pentacles. So it's like you're waiting for something to come up, like some message from them, but all you're hearing is about is money. Money, 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 money. And with this death card, wow. So there's the lovers and the two of cups. And this one was reversed. So it's like you just want that fiery passion. That's what you want. Or, you know, swip, you know flip the story as it reads. And here's the Eight of Pentacles. So because of their confusion, what did they do? They just went to work and made some more coin. That's what they know. That's how they gain their validation as a person. And it's just causing all this conflict with you. And I think, you know, your side of it is or whoever it is, the person who wants this fiery passion is like, but we have everything we need. You have more than enough money than you'll ever need. Let's move through this together. And the person who's into the money is just kind of like Ebenezer Scrooge. That's their addiction. That's their addiction is money, making money, gaining more money, gaining more assets. Interesting, I've never had a read like this before. <laughs> and even with this, there's a magician, but he, what is he standing on? He's standing on a coin, or what looks like a coin. Wow, very money oriented. So then, you know, it's like the firm foundation of the coin and being able to manifest the passion, the, you know, the, the passion, the love, and, you know, the brain power to put all this together. To manifest it so I think that your person with all this struggle is trying they are trying like it was interesting for this read I I ask you know my guides or I ask kind of when I look at these cards and I say okay you know Gemini which card deck do you want to use and this is a deck that I rarely ever use I was actually gonna put it away in storage well on a shelf so to speak but with this reading, I understand why. I mean, I think they're going to be able to pull this out of the hat. Because they do love you. They're just like, but I thought that this was everything that you ever wanted. You know, and there might be some struggles along the way. But I wouldn't throw the... What is um, 
Ramblin' Mike say. Great channel, by the way. Um, he says, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. And I think this is, this is, it's very apropos for this one. So, I mean, with this, with the lover's card, the two of cups, I think you're going to have to just give this one time, you know, realize that there still might be some fights and quarrels. You know, there might be some ups and downs, but, you know, and to me, this, of course, looks like, well, it says fortune, but, you know, it's that up and down, you know, and if you're married with this person, which it seems like that you are, you're just going to have to hold tight because I think things are going to get better. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, let's see, any more information that needs to come through here on this one? Yeah, have optimism about it. Be optimistic that this can work out. Yeah, like I said it's going to be ups and downs. Be optimistic, then there's going to be quarrels. But they deeply love you. And they want harmony with you. They truly do. Because for them, they've given you the key to physical luxury and satisfaction. That's how they truly feel. Like They feel so proud of themselves that they've been able to do this. Maybe they came from a background where they were um, didn't have a whole lot of prosperity in their life. So let's get a message from your person. And I know I keep switching the read, but it's hard because I don't know. That's what I'm doing. It says, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Well, there you go. I know said, but we'll go on. Yeah, this is a soulmate connection. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. And you're just going to have to trust that this is going to be able to work through it. You're going to have to have trust. All right. I don't really feel like I need to have this one. Well, actually, I'm going to pull one from here. What else do, what else do we need to know here? Someone feels like they're being nagged. Your person here you know, that makes the cash, probably feels nagged by you. So, you know, try to be aware of that. Because they really, they truly are doing, they're really, they're really trying super hard. So I, honestly, I say give them a break. <laughs> it says, my love, and this is a message from them to you. My love for you is without bound. What did I just say? Come on. All right. One more card. You are worth fighting for. And that's truly what they're going to do. Truly. And if if you left or if you're feeling, you're thinking about leaving, it says, I miss your sunshine in my life so much. So don't take their sunshine away. That would just be mean. <laughs> All right. My lovely Gemini, thank you for joining me. I really enjoyed this read. Um, I love it when spirit really kind of takes it to a whole new level. And it was an interesting read to have it being going back and forth. As far as, oops, sorry, as far as like who is what, who's playing which role, you know, that sort of thing. So thank you for that. I hope you enjoyed it. Please um, give a like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to move on to the Gemini Singles. All right, Gemini Singles, what's going on? We've got the Judgment card, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. Looks like obviously you made a judgment call and you had some choices. You might not have been excited about the choices that you had. So you decided to move on to bigger and better things. Yeah, you're moving on. Moving on. 
All right, Gemini second set of singles. We have got the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, Oops. Yeah, you definitely, you're focusing on your friends and your family right now because you're feeling very um, over it in love. You're just like, forget it. Why even bother? And you kind of got your guard up. You feel like nothing's really moving right now. Is there love coming in? Yeah, you're looking to the future. one more yeah you're just feeling really defensive right now so I'd say you know focus on friends and family like you're already doing you know kind of go into more of like why am I feeling this way and how do I heal this because if you do want to, oh maybe you don't want to continue dating people right now take time take time why not Okay, one more for Gemini Singles. The Hierophant. The Ten of Swords. The Ace of Wands. And the King of Swords. It's interesting, I thought, I, I think that, you know, with this Hierophant, you were like, oop, something, something good's coming. And then it kind of crashed and you're like, ugh, that was not what I thought it was going to be. And you were a little disappointed about it. But look at her. She's on her cell phone while she's supposedly dead. So, you know, as it goes, <clears throat> you know, she's kind of resurrected herself quickly. And with the Ace of Pentacles, you have passion and drive, but you're not willing to um, compromise. And with the King of Swords here, you know, take your time. I think your energy is kind of blocked right now. And yeah, because you want the Wheel of Fortune, but that's in the reverse. So just take some time, kind of reevaluate where you are in your dating life. And what I'm hearing is see if you want to go on to different apps. You know, maybe not something so skanky. <laughs> not saying that you are. That's just what I heard. All right, Geminis. I hope that was helpful. And um, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And have a ha happy and healthy May. And I will see you again on Medium of the Right Light Tarot. Bye-bye.